Yo, what's up? So uh, we're about to get ready to hit the gym in a bit, but we need to fuel up. I'm gonna show you guys what I got on the menu. So before we talk about food, what I wanna talk about is water. Listen, if you're not properly hydrated, it's gonna be really tough to have a good workout. So try to get at least a half a gallon in before you train. All right, so let's talk about pre-workout nutrition. Like I said, guys, if you're not properly fueled up for the workout, how can you have a badass workout? How can you get the most out of it? It is fuel. So let's see what we got. Me and my wife do a pretty good job of uh, having some stuff cooked already. So our protein options today, I think this is... All right, so this is turkey, ground turkey. This is some soup that she made. Soup is not a good pre-workout meal. I don't know if you guys know that. I'm not being sarcastic, it's not. Chicken breast, you cannot go wrong with chicken breast. Blue Moon, Heineken. This is not a good pre-workout meal. Oh, grass-fed ground beef, baby. That's a good pre-workout meal, why? because I like to work out for a couple hours. I like to have really long, intense workouts. So what do I need? I need fats. Why are fats important if you're gonna have a long workout? Is because it's a slow, sustained release of protein. So instead of having just a very lean ground source like, like chicken is. So we got some more choices here. We have eggs and egg whites. This is a great pre-workout meal. Why? Because it's light on the stomach. So these are my go-to protein sources, really. We got the red meat, we got the turkey with the fat, we got the lean ground chicken breast, and we have eggs. Um, another option, last but certainly not least, we do have some yogurt, okay? Light on the stomach. Throw some extra protein in here, though, because it's only 15 grams of protein, maybe a scoop of protein, along with your yogurt. That's a fast digesting meal for you, baby. And now that we got our protein sorted out, let's see what kind of carbs we have. Oh man, I'm the king of carbs. The king of carbs. Oatmeal is my go-to carb. Not only pre-workout, but it's my go-to all-around carb for everything. Grits, shout out to Ronnie Coleman. Yeah, buddy. And we got cream of rice. You thought I was playing. I actually don't even like cream of rice. I think my last prep, I was eating so much damn cream of rice that I developed like, just like an intolerance for it. I can't even like stand it anymore. Cream of wheat. <laughs> you guys thought I was joking. What is this? Polenta. This is actually not even a good source of carb because it just kind of sits in you, it's too heavy. Crackers, not so much. Not so much a good, ooh, look at this, Special K cereal. This is actually good pre-workout carb, why? It has got some fast-acting carbohydrates and some simple sugars, which is really good. But my all-time favorite alongside of the oatmeal is the rice, white rice. You can't go wrong with white rice, guys. Let's look at some fats. Almond butter, coconut oil, my go-to fat sources besides the yolks and the egg, which I'm already gonna eliminate. Like I said, I already ate this today. So you guys are gone. Get the hell out of here. Polenta, I told you, not a good carb source. Out of here. Before I go any further, let's be honest. I just said this is not a good carb source. There isn't necessarily foods that are good nor bad. It all comes down to the serving size. But I'm gonna eliminate some based upon how they digest in your stomach. Uh, cream of wheat, cream of rice, I don't think so. Not today, guys. I'm picking this. This is my go-to carbs for today. 
Um, this is my go-to fat for today. Grits, a little hard to digest. This is more of like a meal one type of meal, not a pre-workout meal. I don't eat crackers, so, and this cereal, cereal's for kids. Um, turkey, we're not gonna mess with only because this only looks like four ounces. It's not enough. My, my protein source, like let's say it's cooked protein, is usually between six, seven, or eight ounces of cooked meal. So this one's gone. This is gone, I don't feel like cooking, and plus I'm gonna get my fats today from my coconut. And yogurt is just like a snack, so I ain't messing with you. Just give me one second, I'm gonna phone a friend real quick. Tommy, what's up man, listen. I'm about to win a million dollars, but I need to phone a friend. All right, we have two choices for you. We have white rice or oatmeal. What are we doing as a pre-workout meal? We only got 15 seconds, come on. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, I was thinking that too. All right, well, we only got three seconds, man. Thank you so much. Later, bro. That's it, Tommy said, yo, we're going with the rice. Rice, coconut, oil, and chicken. There's a lot of questions I get from my clients. How soon before they train should they consume their pre-workout meal? And that's all up to you. I know that I can't digest food that quickly, so I like to eat my pre-workout meal at least an hour before I train. Um, if I'm running late, yeah, I'll squeeze one in, 45 minutes. But if I'm half an hour from training, and I must eat something, you'll see me many times. I'll just grab a plain bagel and put some jelly on there. So I'll make sure I get the carbohydrates in. I get some simple sugars so it hits my body fast and I'll slam a shake of BCAA real fast. So that's my last resort meal. But since I don't train for another hour and a half, I think it's good. Microwavable rice, your best friend. Oh, baby. And now, what I do with this. Yeah, babe, I can't get the jar open again. Yeah, I tried running under hot water. I can't get the jar open. <sighs> Boom. So the rice is warm, so that's gonna melt in, and it's gonna be like it's not even there. All right, let's get a little prepared for the gym. This is the holy grail of supplements. Whoa. Cue the heavenly music. So what we got here is a bunch of pre-workout essentials. We'll start with the creatine. Huge, huge, huge advocate of creatine pre-workout. You could take them post. In fact, you could take it any time of day. So we're gonna eat our meal with the creatine. We are gonna start our day off with the Nitroflex. And we do need some aminos for intra-workout, which means fuel for during your workout. And that's about it, guys. I keep it really simple with the supplements, you know. Glutamine helps, um, the fat burners help. Libido boost, you guys already know. Workout meal done. I'm gonna chill out for about 45 minutes, relax, go take my pre-workout, and we're gonna actually train with Juan Morel today. So we're gonna head off to the gym and uh, see you guys there. Peace out. Mm. 
Now it's a party, baby. What do you want next? Um, I'm gonna do um, 100 next. Do 100 next. So easy for him. <laughs> 